So being in the army has helped me massively. Um, when I first joined the, the, the GB team, um, it was heavily um, dominated by the military, so the Navy, Army, and Air Force. So it, the transition wasn't that difficult because you know you still had the the Army, the the military banter, and you know we worked the same as we would you know in back in the Army. You know very very efficiently. Um, you know the work was getting done really quickly, um, and it, it, it was it was never a. a, a any sort of headache or or, or chore. Um, now the leadership part, because I run the team, um, team captain, leader, um, it's it, it helps massively because you know you 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 know how to work with people, how to deal with people in different ways, different needs, especially um, um, working with well now ninety percent of the guys in the team are, are, are civilians. They're, you know, high performing sports um, stars, athletes. Um, so I think being in the army gives you that broad sort of um, book of knowledge to, to dealing with different athletes, different people. And also, um, you know, when you're in high, in, in, you know, intensity situations like racing. basketball and, and, and boxing um, equally. However, now, more basketball, because getting punched in the face isn't my thing anymore. Um, but I, I, I often do, in the summer, in the early summer, um, I, I joined a team and I train and play with those guys. Um, because it's just, a, you, you're, you're still active, you're still you know, performing in sport, but it's not that serious, it's not that intense. When you're competing um, at the highest level, and especially at the Olympic Games, it's just 100% you know, laser focus, and you, know, you can't really enjoy it. It's, it's, you, you enjoy it after. You know, after whatever the result will be, you know, it's retrospectively, you know, um, um, pleasing after you've done it. Um, but when you're playing basketball, you're there, you, 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 you're in the moment, you're loving it, you know, everybody's happy on the same page. Although you're, you're trying to win if you're in the game, but it's a different type of, of, of fun. You have to be robust, very, very robust. You know, um, you have to train hard and you really need to have um, um, a, 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 a character. You have to be a character. You know, you have to be able to work with others. You know, it's a team sport. Uh, unless you do skeleton bob, which is obviously you go down head first. You know, you, you, you can't do it alone. You have to um, work with, it, with with other people in sync in order to to get the job done. It's all about teamwork. So you know, I'd advise every anyone to to, to get down to to Bath University, try out, and you know, it's it's it, it's a journey. My training schedule consists of um, well, over the week, um, the a, a Monday will be um, we'll start off with a. A 40-minute warm-up, believe it or not, um, and then it, there'll be some sort of um, track session. So it could be um, over 100 meters, 60 meters, 40, 30. Um, you know, over 10 to 15 reps, just a real hard conditioning uh, session. Um, I'll then go back to back into the gym and do about an hour and a half in the gym. You know, um, doing several Olympic lifts followed by you know a, a plyometric session like a jumping session so that that's just the morning session itself um, and then in the afternoon will be something like a circuit session yoga session something to just really get the the body moving so that's a monday tuesday might be a pool a swimming pool based running session so you know you're keeping the load off the body um, but still, you know, um, putting your bodies through that sort of angle, um, followed by um, maybe uh, a, a, another circuit session or all yoga, whichever I haven't done on, on the Monday. Um, Wednesday would be a pushing session. So down at the University of Bath, 
and we've got a push start facility there. Um, it's the only one in the UK, so we'll go down there and um, we'll go through the skills and it's quite heavy on the whole body, on the old body as well. Um, so we'll practice that. Thursday will be similar to the Monday session, so a double back-to-back -back session. Um, Friday, again, would be a, a circuit followed by maybe another pool session. Um, Saturday will be a CV session, so it might just be um, jogging for an hour, 40 minutes, or swimming, or whatever, something just to keep the heart going, or, or on the bike, um, and then Sunday off.